So today I want to go over the rating features for this product. At the bottom of the Amazon page, you'll see this uh, rating chart for all the different um, kind of features of this product. Uh, first, they have the quality of the materials, blending power, the flavor, durability, ease of use, and easy to clean. So we're going to go through each and every one of those stats. I'm going to give it a higher or lower in terms of what I think of the rating. If one of the features is not as good, I'm going to say lower. If the one of the features exceeds my expectations, then yes, it will definitely be higher. So first up, we do have have the quality of the materials and as you can see right here this thing is made out of almost all stainless steel I would say none of the parts in this machine feels like it is cheap it definitely feels like I'm getting what my money is worth even down to the kind of handle right here this thing feels uh, kind of uh, weighty I uh, feels the the construction is very ergonomic it feels like it is gonna last it's not really I've had it for quite a while now nothing is really scratch I don't see any uh, dents or any any skirmishes or um, imperfections at all so i would say that is a definite um thumbs up i would say the rating is around 4.5 so i would say that is on par with the quantum materials that you would expect next up we have uh, the blending power which is also a 4.5 so i'm going to demonstrate by kind of grinding the beans uh, getting the espresso going so kind of letting you see the process of how this really gets into incorporated when you actually do start up the machine so i'll show you the quality of the grind first this one i'm going to set it to all the way uh, to the coarsest possible uh, setting right here. I'm gonna see uh, the least amount. I'm gonna demonstrate how this kind of looks when it is super coarse. So I'm gonna push it in once. So this is set to the lowest setting and it's still got quite a decent amount. As I can show you, this is about what you should expect when you do want a little bit of a coarse or all the way coarse, I would say. Still quite there. They're not really sticking to each other, not too much. Next, we're gonna set the feature all the way to ultra fine to show you guys what it really looks like when you get it all the way down there. This is the finest it can be. The lowest setting, push in. So as you can already see, there is quite a bit of difference. The, um, the kind of powder is clumping a little bit more. There are little blocks down here because they tend to stick together a little bit easier. So as you can see, it does feel and look a little bit finer and they do stick and kind of it's a little bit harder to get off as well. Next, I'll just press this down because it's magnetic. Simply slot it back up. Super convenient and super easy to clean. Get the cleaning razor. So there's none on the top edge right there. Pop this guy in there. I'll go for a double cup to see the kind of how long it takes. Let's get right almost at the middle. Very good. All right, so it took around 27 seconds from start to beginning. And that is what you should expect. A brown kind of creamy color. Swirl it around and you still see the kind of browner bits at the bottom. So I would say this is a pretty good success. So in terms of blending powder, 4.5, I would have to agree with that. So the flavor rating is a 4.4. So I'm going to be the judge of that. I would say, yeah, I would agree a little bit. Maybe um, it feels very smooth. Um, so it still feels very uh, refined. So I would definitely agree with the 4.4. Next up, we'll move on to durability. The durability is currently a 4.4. That is pretty high. And I would say I've had this for a few weeks. I don't see any scratches, any bumps, but in an attempt to really show you guys what the limits of the machine is, I'm gonna go around with my scissor. I'm gonna show you, I wanna scratch out little parts of it to see which part is really that durable and which ones aren't really that durable. Okay, so I'm gonna go in. I would say the first part let me scratch up a little part here. Uh, I did it right there. As you can see, I don't see really any detail. So this part is pretty good in terms of scratch resistance. I would say right here. Oh yeah, I got a little bit of a scratch right here. I don't know if you can see a little bit of scratch, but that is uh, common with a lot of stainless steel, unless you're talking about your know, smartphones. Even smartphones are pretty scratch prone. So it's not too big of a deal. I'll try to scratch a little bit of the top part here. This one is more of a rubberized, so you're not gonna really get any scratches. I did not uh, scratch right here at the top a little bit. Uh, I don't know if you can see this, but yes, when right here, when I catch it in the light, you see I did make some scratches here. They are very, very hard to notice, but it's still, it's a little bit of scratch. And go into the handle right here. Oh yeah, as you can see, there is a little bit of a scratch right in here, right here. Nope, this part, I try to scratch it right here. There is not really anything in here. Scratch the knob right in here. Oh, as you can see, nothing really happened here. So that's a good sign. Go scratch back here as well. Uh, I don't really see much, as you can see. Not much to be seen. And last part down here. 
Yeah, I don't really see any marks on here as well. So I gotta say, I'm genuinely surprised at how kind of scratch resistant some of these parts are. Mainly, mainly the darker parts, this part all up in here, this part uh, down here, the water, water can, the kind of handles of this, all the blacker parts are scratch resistant. Obviously the, the big uh, shiny stainless steels, not ones uh, it's gonna get uh, somewhat scratched up, but it, like all stainless steel products, that's gonna be an issue. So I won't fault this product just because because of that, I would say, yeah, I would agree with the durability of 4.4, maybe bump it up to a 4.5. Next, we'll go to the ease of use. As I've shown you just now, it's really not that complicated to use this machine. You have the grinding feature to see how fine you want your particles, how much you want more or less. You gotta switch to single or double the power button. You lift this up to put your coffee beans. You put this in here. In here to get the coffee grinds, you kind of push this back up, lock it this way, single double cup, and that is it. The last feature right here, you basically turn it this way for steam or turn it the other way for hot water. For steam, it's definitely gonna come out of here, but the hot water gets um, output for, from this nozzle. So I gotta show you quickly what the steam output is like. So it took around 10 to 15 seconds for it to start up. And as you can see, this is about the steam output you're gonna be expecting. That is a lot, a lot of steam. You're not gonna get this with any other coffee maker. So that is a big bonus. And once you have used this once, it will auto purge the uh, remainder out of here to really clean it. So that is a very useful feature. And lastly, I can show you the hot water. Turn to hot water. And yes, immediately it starts giving you hot water. All around, this is not a complicated machine at all. This is a 4.4 currently. I would bump that up to a 4.5 because this is uh, the learning curve. It is nothing at all. And last but not least, we have the easy to clean, which out of all my machines, this is definitely my favorite to clean because uh, you can really easily just you know wipe it down. But if you have anything underneath, you pull this whole thing out of here. You basically give it to the sink and you just pour it out. And once you're at the sink, you can take this off, take this off and you can clean each part individually, which is very convenient. Not to mention, you can put some of these in the dishwasher as well, making it much easier to clean as well. And the only other thing you need to worry about cleaning is these two tools, because you'll be using these regularly. You pop this out, all this is like stainless steel and kind of rubberized uh, housing right here. So you just put this through the sink and kind of wash it, very simple. And you take this whole thing out and just give it to the uh, sink, pour it out and wash it like that. So this is, this is rated as a 4.3 in terms of cleaning. I would rate this as a 4.7. It is so easy to clean. Pull everything, put it to the sink, and you are done. So overall, I am highly impressed with this machine. I would highly recommend it.